Nope. So, as what you have seen in the title itself, we will try to revive this dying electric fun that we have just salvaged from the trash. And for this video, I will not waste your time watching on how I made the model for the damaged parts as it took me more than one hour to model it. The damaged part is the neck which has collapsed because it is the only part that moves on this machine. When we have taken out this fan last time from the trash, my friend taped it with a warning tape as a first aid precaution not to damage it further. But when we try to use it, because of the vibrations, it starts to fall apart. That is the time that I decided to try to repair it. Beforehand, I have sketched all the details and measured everything in AutoCAD and tried to model it in 3D in Fusion 360. I am transitioning here and there to make the measurements and making sure all is in the same place. I am not trying to replicate the previous one as that is not strong enough to withstand the load of the head of the fan. I will try to make it stronger. The previous neck have many gaps in between but in this model I will not try to put any to make it stronger. That means it will have more wasted print materials and longer printing time but that doesn't matter. I have checked also other models of electric fan that is lying around in this house and all of them differ in the design on, the on this fan neck as the placement of the spring and other metal parts may not be the same as yours. If you want to use this model in your project, I would suggest that you review the model first before printing it and installing it in your fan. Some fan also has metal parts, so that's out of the scene, as this model only is for those fans with plastic parts. The modeling and cure setting before printing is done, so what's left to do is to print this, so let's roll the time lapse. Here is the old damaged neck part and this is the first model that we have done. This first model failed because the space where you will put the spring does not fit. And I tried to fit this by hitting the spring, that's why you can see here the burnt plastic. Some parts also is missing in that first model. One is the part where you put the rotating lever. Without this. The fan head will not move from side to side. The other one is the notch for the cable to go in. So I chased that and here is the final model. Before we can install this in the fan, we need to take out first all the support that we have used in this printing process. Of course, the last thing to do is to install this part. So I just let you run through on the installation.
it's tiring but it's a huge success and I hope that this fan will last for a decade mm, maybe for a year or something by the way that's it for this week I hope you enjoy it and of course if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new video and if you have questions comments or suggestions feel free to ask in the comment section below see you guys next week as always keep creating cheers <laughs>